Hello everyone, and welcome back to our tutorial series for Space Engineers. This time we're going to do tutorial number three, the energy tutorial. Learn how to recharge your suit energy by tackling a series of small challenges that explain behavior of power within Space Engineers and the different ways you can provide it. We've done some of this previously in the previous tutorials, but this is just going to amp up a bit more and start talking about power distribution with actual building. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. As always, start by respawning in our medical room. Popping out of our chamber. Alright, let's read the signs in numbered order. Suit energy must be recharged frequently. If it runs out, you only have a short time to live and no power to operate tools. This can be done at a medical room. Look at the medical panel and hold T for your energy to replenish. We did that already. Uh, energy is also replenished when sitting in a cockpit seat, flight seat, or control station. To enter either of these, look at them uh, for a yellow highlight indicator like so, and press T. This is often preferable to using a med room because the recharge is automatic. Instead of I have to come up here and actually look at that and hold T to recharge. But any of these things here, any of these control stations or cockpits, I can get in and recharge automatic happens. As you can see down there, back to 100%. I'm going to show it again in one of these things. Get a look at the screen. T, 9,800. Look at that. We're looking outside the, the whole little station thing here. Power is transferred through any block connected to a power source. Power does not transfer through asteroids, however, like the actual rock of the asteroid. To proceed, take some uranium from this storage and place it in the reactor by the hangar doors. This will bring the button panel controls online. Uh, uranium. The most important thing we have to hit um, pretty early on as far as mining in a survival world is uranium to power all this stuff. As you can see, we need power to live. So we got a reactor here connected to this block structure which connects to this button panel over here. So we'll come over here, press K, drag and drop, right click, or I mean, so you can drag with left click, or you can hold shift and left click. And it just turned on, all the lights came on, and now this has power. Alright, moving on to the next section. Solar panels generate a small amount of power without needing uranium. However, they must be exposed to sunlight. Depending on the position of the solar panel relative to the sun, they will generate a variable amount of power. The better aligned, the more they produce. Red lights is no power. Four green lights is maximum power. So you see we got solar panels right here. This is a good way of making a respawn point that is ensured to always have power. Uh, a medical bay on a little platform. Activate the pistons to expose the solar panels to sunlight. This will provide power to open the blast door. Track the pistons. Now they're getting sunlight, and you can see the door ahead has opened. And you can see down here the different colors. This is what it's talking about. There's two green. This one's got three. It's got a better, better angle. All these are three here. Oh, no, they're all up to three. Okay, cool. And let's sprint, hold shift. Batteries allow you to store generated power for later use and are good for meeting periodic power demands combined with solar panels. It is a good idea to have some backup batteries fully charged in case of power emergencies. In case I need some more power, I'll just hop in here. Charged up. Okay, so now we're, we've, we're separated from some asteroid again. So this section, again, is no longer powered. Set one of these batteries to discharge power. Access its control panel by pressing the K and the semi-auto box. Now this is a battery block here. All right, so we're in here, press K. Here we are. Recharge, semi-auto. Now that it's green, 
you can see lights came on we've got power over here uh, it must already be set to discharge oh I guess there is no discharge Oh, just to discharge its batteries. Okay, he's talking about that. All right, so over here, we can go ahead and move forward. See to crouch. All right, merge blocks can join two separate grids together. So we're separated by asteroids, they're two separate power grids. Um, aligning their building lattices, which is useful connecting separate ships. They require no power to function, an advantage they have over connectors, which need both sides to be powered to lock together. So merge blocks, that's what we're talking about here, these two things. Once merged, both grids are seen as one allowing power to flow through. This is merely for merging power. So you can see over here we're dark, it's got no power and these lights in the ground. It's like a giant battery plug. Boom. Red lights. Power's flowing. Cool. And now we can uh, extend a bridge. Well, that's a cool bridge made out of pistons down below. Nice. And there we go. Uh, pick up a weld tool and steel plate. Lots of steel plates. Can only carry that many. Okay. Supply power to the far side by constructing a line of blocks across the asteroid section, connecting the two stations. And this here is a nuclear reactor. So we got power here. I can get more power if I need it. I'm at 95. So we need to construct a line of blocks from here to there. All right, we want to do this. Go G. Select those. And then we want to connect it to that. So place, 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 place. Boom. Don't even have to weld them together. Connected power. And so this is kind of how you'll go about building ships and stations and stuff. You use a little bit of materials to lay out the framework, what you want. And then you got to go in with all the constructed, assembled components that you've created um, out of all the various ingots you mine uh, to fill them all in and, and build them up. It's very, very cool, I think. Close final door, trigger now. Open final door. That's cool. Moving lights. And we'll hit closed door. Objective complete. Alright. Safe inside. Yeah, we'll definitely definitely be making some piston doors like that. Alright, thank you guys for watching and join me for the next tutorial in the series.